Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are back in my little Hauptwerk workshop. And in our last video, I showed you the pedal electronics that had finally arrived um, and how I planned to um, sort them out well. I have, as you maybe see, I have sort of provisionally attached the electronics to my little piece of wood at the right distances. Now, um, thankfully, the um, electronics came in sort of sections to uh, perfectly fit the pedals. And as you can see here, these two chaps are very, very close together because of the way my pedal board is. These um, distances between the switches on uh, Nico's electronics don't quite match the distances between the pedals on my actual pedal board, but I've managed to uh, get them close enough so that when I attach the magnets, these are now reed contacts that are activated by little magnets attached to the ends of the pedals, that they will hopefully work. That's the plan anyway. So um, this is very spontaneous because I haven't yet um, tested this. I've just taken it back down. All this is upstairs in the organ room. We're going to call it the organ room now. And I've just taken it back down. I've uh, loaded up Hauptwerk and I don't have anything connected up here. Well, that's not true. I don't have anything connected to the software yet. Um, I haven't programmed this. This is all wired up via the relevant electronics into the PC here. By the way, people were laughing at me for saying PC when I'm obviously talking about a Mac computer. Well, an iMac is a Mac PC. PC means personal computer uh, as opposed to a laptop. So you can say Windows PC, you can also say Mac PC. So there we are. So just in case anyone wants to be pedantic again, there's your explanation. So um, it's quite exciting. I haven't tested this yet. I literally haven't tested it yet. Um, I just took it down. I just wired it up and I had the idea, why am I not filming this? I should be filming this for you guys. So um, yeah, I'll explain how it's wired up first of all before I, um, before I um, get into actually physically testing it. Like I said, there's nothing connected here. So um, I'll show you how to do that as well. Um, Let's just do all of this in one take. I think I will do another. I'll do a German version of this as well. So if you're watching in English and haven't seen the German version, check out the channel. There will be a German version of this as well. Obviously, once I have tested it, so I'll have to pretend that I didn't know what was happening. Okay, so here's the plan. Here's the plan. I think I've explained this in another Hauptwerk video already a little bit, but let's do it for this one again. So the organ as an instrument is divided into several playable divisions. You have the pedals down at the bottom, which you play with your feet. And this here is my sort of control module for the pedals. Yeah. So that's, let's just say that's division one. Now, then I have four manuals, four keyboards like this, four keyboards that I can play with my hands. Um, so they will be divisions two, three, four, and five with me so far. There will be divisions two, three, four, and five. And then um, there are all the sort of sundry controls that go around with that. So buttons that control combinations of stops. Um, I, can, oh, I can't do it at the moment because this isn't wired up. But you can sort of, with various switches or buttons or whatever, you can set different uh, combinations of stops on your organ and just recall them one by one, which is rather clever. So, and they would then be, if you imagine, division six. Does that make sense? So we have pedals. Division one, two, three, four, five for the manuals, and then division six for all the sundries, all the little uh, switches and buttons and whatever on the rest of it. So, and this is where it gets rather clever. Now, each of those divisions has its own electronics connection, okay? That's important. And all of that is then connected to the MIDI interface, which is this. I'm not going to touch it because I'm sitting here. And people get very annoyed when I touch electronics without being earthed via, I don't know, by a lead cables or something. I don't know. People get very worried about it. Um, you don't need to these days. But anyway, never mind. People get very worried. So all of this is connected here. So there's power going into this MIDI interface. There's a MIDI cable which runs into my audio interface. Now this is just our little Zoom U24 interface that we have been using to record. Um, the organs when we go to visit churches and things, but it has a MIDI interface and that runs by via USB into the computer. So no problems there and it works 
absolutely perfectly. So why do I need anything else? Anyway, so, so let's just say pedals are on division one. What does that mean? And how do I tell the interface what's division one and what's more? Well, let's look at one of these electronic chaps here as I will pick it up very carefully, not touching any of the electronic parts. I have shown you this before. Now, this is for one of the keyboards. This will attach to one of the keyboards. So there's a ribbon cable, that's this long cable here. I'm not gonna pick it up because it's connected at the moment from the pedals to the thing. And there are sort of, there are connections all throughout that cable which then plug into the various manuals. So I have four of these, one, two, three, four, okay? And this one just happens to be the one for the fourth manual. How do I know that? Well, here, there's a little row of pins at the bottom here. I suppose I could come in a little closer. I don't know if that helps. There's a little row of pins here. And you can connect this little jumper switch. It's just a little connector, basically. And you can, I haven't got my glasses on, so I can't see that very well. But you can connect that to whichever division you want. Now, it's very clever. There are seven divisions here on this MIDI system. This MIDI interface is capable of decoding seven divisions. So this will be the fourth manual, which I said already was pendles one, manuals two, uh, one, two, three, four, are there two, three, four, five. So this will be the fourth manual on jumper. They're called jumpers, jumper number five. Okay, so let's move backwards. Manual number three, jumper four, manual number two, jumper three, manual number one, jumper two, pedals, jumper number one. Okay, so, and then this chap here, I will lift it out carefully because the MIDI cable's on top of it. This will then control all the sundry electronics, my switches and pistons and buttons and whatever else, yeah? And that still has to be wired up and this is a much more complicated piece of kit here, but there are basically four times eight possibilities here, so. Uh, yeah, I can get quite a lot of good things going on there. Now, I only want 20 thumb pistons and a couple of toe pistons, so 22. So I'm not even using half of the possibilities of this. So that's good for the future. That means if I want to wire up little LCD screens or other switches or other, you know, electronic things that have to trigger a MIDI signal for the software, then this is where that goes. And this is division six, so it's on jumper number six. So there we have it, okay? That's a brief rundown of the electronics as it were. Now, I've got the pedals, the pedal electronics in the right position. As you can see, there are 30, or you can't see it, but trust me, there are 30 read switches um, that are activated by, I have, yes I do, by a magnet. Now this is rather clever. Okay, these little magnets, little round magnets, they're just screwed onto the end of the pedal, the pedals themselves. So when I press a pedal, the magnet comes towards the reed switch and closes the circuit. And when it moves away again, it opens the circuit again. Okay, so that's the plan. That's the plan. Now, I don't know if you can see this here, but I'm rather excited. If I hold this magnet and just move it towards one of the reed switches, I should see a MIDI signal. That little thing should light up red. And as I move it away again, it should light up red again, showing me that the circuit has closed and opened. I don't know if this is gonna work, so let's find out. Moving it towards. Yes, did you see that? There you go. A little red flashing light. As the so if you imagine this is sitting just below the pedals, and I let's take this one as an example. If I move the pedal and I press the pedal down towards the switch, we get a flash, it's closed. I let go of the pedal, it opens again. So it's actually... Oh, well, there's a very sort of very, very fine line of contact there. So that's good. So that means this can be adjusted. So it means it's working. Now, that's good. So what I can, oh no, I need the magnet. What I now need to do is, let's say I want to tell this Hauptwerk software. Now, my free test of, soft, of soft, Hauptwerk software run out. So I had to um, splash out and get hold of uh, the Hauptwerk software. Now, thankfully, you can buy a subscription to it. The software itself costs upwards of 500 euros, which is just too much money at the moment. I can't quite splash out on that. I have to finish building the organ and there are probably other things I need to pay for there. So. Um, but you can buy a monthly subscription to Hauptwerk, so that's what I have done. And at the moment that's fine, I don't mind. I, I'll, I'll pay the monthlies and then at some point in the future maybe I will upgrade to a full perpetual license, as you call them. But we shall see. So, anyway, what I want to do is I want to tell, if you can see the screen here, there's the pedal department. So I want to tell the pedals that those 
MIDI signals are coming from this line of electronics here. So what I have to do is if I right click that, it will say I have three options. Auto detect MIDI triggers for number one pedal. Well, let's do that. So it now tells me for the MIDI keyboard or key range you want to use to control the virtual keyboard one pedal, at least once and in any order, in brackets, play the lowest key, which would be the lowest C, play the highest key, which would be the highest F, and then any keys as gently slow as blah, 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 blah in the middle. And this, when it's realized what's going on, it will flash up here, done, in blue, and then I'm ready to uh, go. So if I take my magnet and approach the lowest key until I see my red light, there we go, and I take the highest key, coming from this direction here, there we are, so it's registered the highest and the lowest keys. I press done and now I don't have any pedal stops but if I just take my... Ah, oh, look at that. Can you, I don't know if you can see that in the screen but as I move the magnet along the switches here I can see the pedals going down and moving. Oh, that's very exciting. That's really very exciting. So if I get some pedal stops on here, let's get some 16, 8 and 4 foot stops. Go down to my bottom C. It works. Oh my god, that's so exciting. Yes. And all of them are working. Oh, that's so amazing. That is really exciting. That is very exciting. Now, actually, I should have taken two magnets down and made sure that I can play two notes at once. Kinda. That should have been, that should have done. Why didn't I do that? <sighs> anyway, you get the idea. It's working and that's absolutely fantastic. That makes me a very, very happy chap. Wow, that's exciting. You might not think that's exciting, but I think it's very exciting. So that now means... That now means I could go and fix this in a good position underneath where the pedals come close fix the magnets to the end of the pedals, and voila, I have a working pedal board. Ah, oh, that's exciting. Now, up to now, I've only had working manuals, and now I will have working pedals. So that's really rather good. Hmm. Okay, quick update on everything else that's going on. Um, the manuals are now back home, because I want to wire everything. Now that I know this works, I want to wire everything up and make sure it really works. Uh, which is going to be very exciting. Um, no update on the woodwork front. The joiner guy I took the manuals to and sort of said he's completely booked out for months and so, so he probably would do a wonderful job and it would probably not cost the world but I don't want to wait months. So uh, back to square one on the woodwork front for the moment, we shall see. Um, I'm not certain I want to go down that road myself for the simple reason that I've never done anything with woodworking before and I do value my ten fingers. Um, so there is that. So uh, I will be looking for other solutions there, but I have some ideas, so that's fine. Um, yeah, and then my buttons, my pistons still haven't arrived from the post. Uh, that's been well over a month now, so can't do anything there, but that's okay because they have to be set in the woodwork around the manuals anyway, so nothing much I can do about that at the moment. But it does mean I can get this all sort of set up and then I have a playable instrument. Now it won't have swell pedals, it won't have pistons yet, but I can get it together and I can play it. Now this here is a, this is a free sample set that you can download for Hauptwerk and it's actually very good. It's a large three manual Eisenbart organ uh, from Passau in the southeast of Germany and this was sampled by Grabowski, who's one of the young chaps out there who uh, is sampling some rather lovely delicious organs for Hauptwerk and um, once we're up and running I will be featuring quite a lot of his organs because I think they're very very well sampled. They sound amazing um, and uh, there's a good mixture of organs on there. Mixture of organs. There's an organist joke. Oh god. Uh, so um, yeah, so once we get all this up and running I will be featuring some of his uh, instruments. He does a lot of free sample sets which is great but a lot of them are paid as well and I'm guessing they're brilliant quality. If the free ones are this good I wonder what the paid ones are really like. So but we'll be delving into that at a future date. At the moment, it's just about getting this thing up and running and playable so that I can actually 
really start creating content again for you guys. That's, uh, I, I feel a bit ashamed that I haven't been able to get sort of some new recordings done in the last couple of weeks. It's just been um, almost impossible, mainly due to weather, mainly due to corona restrictions, mainly due to the fact that my missus, my camera woman, is incredibly tied up with her university at the moment. Um, so uh, I'm sort of a bit on my own with this at the moment, and that's kind of difficult. So bear with us. We will be back very, very soon with some rather exciting um, organ music and organ news. Okay, that's it for now. Now, I did promise you some piano videos uh, last time, and uh, yes, they will be coming. It turned out, as I recorded them, uh, the sound was an absolute disaster. So I've had to work around that, and I'll be showing you that in another video as well. So there is something, there is, there are some things coming up very soon. So uh, bear with me, uh, we're getting there slowly but surely. But anyway, this is good. This is really good news because uh, I had sort of envisaged the pedal electronics being a real pain to get going, but it really is a simple matter of screw it to a piece of wood, put it in the right position, attach the magnets, and off you go. So that really is very exciting. So thank you to Nico Husch from Holland who has provided me with all of these wonderful electronics. They have been perfect. That's the only word for it. Absolutely perfect. They work perfectly. They do exactly what they're supposed to do. And I am absolutely thrilled. I really am. I didn't think it would be this easy. So uh, yeah, let's get this cosmetic stuff done and then we have a proper beautiful organ for the channel. Very exciting. Thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with more talk and less music, but there will be more music coming very soon. I promise. Hope you have a good weekend and uh, see you very soon. Bye bye.